Okay, there was a problem with this guy when they did a non-contrast CT scan of the head. It showed 40% stenosis of right internal carotid and 50% stenosis of right left internal carotid artery. So what is the expected change in blood to show to the stenotic artery most likely responsible? So which of the following, first of all, which of the following is the most responsible? 40% stenosis or 50% stenosis? Which is better in this? I'm asking this in reverse. Which is better? Which is 40% or 50%? 40% is better because just 40% is stenosis, rest all is normal. 60% is normal. Here just 50%. So of course the pathology causing artery is this one, 50%. This is which is the left internal carotid artery, which is 50 percent stenos. Stenos means that collapsed or anything has you know built up in there. There is no lumen. 50 percent lumen is gone. So this was really really easy question, guys. You should just know this formula. This is Poiseuille's law, which you all might have learned in fluid dynamics, which was a chapter in physics of 12th class or 11th class, I guess. So which is resistance equal to eight. Eta L upon pi R raised to 4 or directly proportional to R raised to 4. R raised to 4. So we have 50% stenosis. 50. And that means basically that means that radius is half. 1 by 2. What is a half raised to 4? Which will be 1 by 16. We'll put it this put this to the power 4. Okay, which will, which will come out to be 1 by 16. Okay, sorry for my editing here. Ah, so basically, when I put 1 by 16 here, resistance by 4 divided by 16, this 16 will go up, right? Denominators, denominator goes up, which will create, which directly means that the resistance will increase 16 times. 16, 1, 6. You guys should take a screenshot of such formulas if in case you don't remember or write somewhere. Just, you know, don't make this way. Don't get this question wrong again. The answer should be D here. D. D it would be 16 times greater. Thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more.